for us, for our community, amongst the people who don't want to hear our voices. So, without further ado, please make some noise for your representative for Nottingham East, Nadia Weta! Okay. I know I'm short, but it's a little bit too low. <laughs> oh, thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you for that beautiful introduction. And it's honestly such a privilege to, to be addressing you, to be sharing the stage with incredible performers and community activists and organisers. Oh my god, I've never seen Seven Square so packed. Yeah, give yourself a big round of applause. I just want to start by saying thank you to everyone for coming. Whether you're part of the LGBTQ community or whether you're here in solidarity, you are Nottingham at its best. When we come together to celebrate each other, to stand against division and to demand change. And as a queer MP, I am so proud to represent so many of you. of queer joy and we're here in defiance, in solidarity and in hope for a better world because recent years have shown us that progress can be turned back and I'm not trying to put a downer on everything but I want to put words to the harm that is being inflicted on our LGBTQ community. Sorry, I'm ruining it. <laughs> Hold on. I don't want it. Too many mic situations. Yeah, I don't want to put a downer on the mood, but I do want to put words to the harm that our community is facing, that is being inflicted on us. Hate crimes towards LGBTQ people have risen by 112% in the last five years. Stigmas that we thought we'd beaten are becoming mainstream once again, and parts of our community are being targeted in an ugly culture war, and for them the challenges are particularly stark. Waiting times for trans health care are excruciatingly long, and the impact that that's having on people's mental health is severe and sometimes even fatal. The emails and the messages that I'm getting from parents of trans kids in the wake of the restrictions on beauty blockers are absolutely heartbreaking. I can hardly even dare to imagine the despair that those young people and, and their families are feeling right now because of this ban. So in the House of Commons this week, in the first ever Prime Minister's questions under this new government, I asked the Prime Minister to meet with young trans people, their families and the organisations that are supporting them. Because trans people's views and experiences should be at the very heart of the decisions that are made that affect them. I say to every trans person here today, there should be nothing about you without you. Sometimes, sometimes people ask me why I care so much about trans rights. They say, isn't it a niche issue? I bet your constituents are contacting you about it. Well, actually, they're wrong. Firstly, I'm contacted all the time by trans constituents, their families, their loved ones, their allies, and I want to say thank you if you've written to me about this, because you add weight to everything that I do. And if I'm not your MP, then write to your MP, tell them why you feel so strongly about this, and why they should act on it. 
And secondly, trans rights are not a niche issue. Anyone, anyone who cares about making society better should care about this issue. Because when we improve things for trans people, when we improve things for the most marginalised, we improve them for everyone. When we stand up for trans people, for LGBTQ people of colour, for queer refugees, for our homeless youth, for sex workers, we are standing up for all of us. The situation for so many in our community right now demands no half measures. All LGBTQ plus people deserve dignity, we deserve safety, we deserve love. So we demand a complete ban on conversion therapy that covers us all with no We demand that everyone gets the health care they need when they need it without having to pay. We demand that trans people are trusted to tell the state their gender without having to get permission from a doctor first. We demand that non-binary people are recognised. We demand that schools are a safe place for young people to be themselves. We demand homes that people can live in, jobs that pay enough to live on, and that discrimination be taken seriously. about trans women in women's spaces is confronted and instead we demand real action to tackle sexual violence and domestic violence that affects so many of us, cis and trans. And no matter our gender, we demand the right to make decisions about our own bodies, whether that's the right to choose to get an abortion or the right to access other often life-saving healthcare. that many of the people who want to roll back trans rights don't want to stop there. That they want to enforce traditional gender roles. That they want women back in the kitchen. That they don't want kids to be learning about LGBTQ people and about healthy relationships. Well, we must oppose that as a matter of safety and as a matter of freedom for all of us. It is an absolute privilege, genuinely the honour of my life, to amplify your voices in Parliament. No matter the abuse I receive, I will always stand with you. No matter who is in Parliament, I will always stand with you. And no matter what, we're here, we're queer, and together we will never give up. Solidarity.